Lola's Extraordinary Hair Adapted from the story by Rene or William Nueva A long, long time ago, there lived an old woman whom everyone called Lola. Lola was very famous because of her very, very, very long hair. It was so long that if you stretch it out, the person holding the other end can't be seen at all. They have tried measuring it, but no one was successful because of its curls and waves. Also, Lola's hair was so thick and strong. Since she was a child, not a strand of her hair has been cut off. It just kept growing without end. Lola's hair was so strong that even if it gets trapped in the bamboo or lit by fire, it does not get damaged. Even though Lola was already 105 years old, her hair was still so black. Not a gray hair was found anywhere. Lola's children and the grandchildren helped her wash her hair and braid it. It takes one full day to wash it, one week to dry it, and three weeks to braid it. People in other villages were amazed by it whenever they came to visit her. During town fiestas, Lola wears her hair in a bun like a real queen. One day, the whole village was told that there will be many typhoons coming their way. The people prepared by making their houses stronger. They stored food and water. When the first typhoon came, the village shook in fear. Everyone felt that the houses would be destroyed. But Lola did not lose hope. She told the people, to tie her hair to every house in the village. So that's what they did. They also tied the animals so they won't be blown away. The typhoon grew stronger and stronger, but the houses stayed put. Not one house got destroyed. Because of Lola's hair, the houses and the people in the village got saved. After the typhoon, the whole village came to Lola and was grateful to her. Lola's hair was indeed so amazing. So whenever there's a typhoon coming, alumna this. I may have never seen Lola, but I know that her bravery will always be remembered. She reached out, and the outcome was outstanding. The end. <laughs>